Hey, let's spend some time talking about page five in your Hal Leonard book, which explains musical symbols. The first thing we see is what's called the staff. That's what musical notes are written on. It's five lines, and the notes can be written on the line itself or in between two lines. Notice that if some of you have played guitar before and have learned from what they call guitar tablature, the guitar tablature differs because it's six lines and the staff has only five lines. Uh, notes can be written, as it said, in between two lines. We call those space notes or directly bisecting the line, which is called line notes. The line notes from the bottom are E, G, B, D, F. And you can remember that by saying a uh, saying like, every good boy does fine, E, G, B, D, F. The notes on the spaces spell out the word face, F, a C E. Uh, try to memorize those going up and down. Every good boy does fine. Some people like uh, even George Bush uh, drives fast or uh, empty garbage before dad freaks. I like every good boy does fine. E G B D F F D B G E. It's kind of important to memorize it out from the onset. Same thing for the space notes. F-A-C-E, E-C-A-F. Um, it's a good idea to write down on a piece of staff paper the notes just to get uh, used to uh, manipulating them. Bar lines are vertical lines that bisect the staff. Each bar line, each two bar lines, form a measure. And a measure is what we count the beat in. In other words, a note can be lasting for four beats like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Those are called whole notes. Those would be the ones on the bottom of the book, page five, where it says whole notes, four beats. The way to practice that is to play your bottom E string, which is your high E string, tap your foot four times and count out loud. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Every time you come to the number one, you pick the note again. Let's try it together. I'll count us off. One, two, three, four. 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 If a note lasts for four beats, it's called the whole note, and it looks like a oval. The next note to learn is the half note that is like a whole note except it has a stem going up or down. Um, the half note gets two beats. So we start off counting and we play on beats one and three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So on like that. Quarter notes are filled in ovals with a stem going up or down. Each quarter note gets one beat, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it together. I'll count us off for quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
Get ready to switch to whole notes. Now, one, two, three, four. One, two. Now let's try quarters again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Let's switch to whole notes. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, now we're gonna switch to half notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You should practice those on your own until you get the hang of it.